I had a wonderful experience, and some of you were here, I know some of you who work with Dallas Opera, um, a few months ago where the marketing people at Dallas Opera got this great idea to do a, a, a panel series in the summer where they would talk about the operas that are going to be <coughs> performed this year, but do them kind of topically. So I had the great joy to be uh, on a panel talking about Otello with uh, the lady who runs the Genesis shelter. What's her name? Jan? Jan She's amazing. And talking about abuse, because that is one of the things that is very clearly in this very, very sad and moving story, that Othello becomes basically an abusive husband. And, and you go through all the, you know, she talked about how you go through all the phases of the, the, the anger and the jealousy and the rudeness, and you start cursing them, and then you start hitting them, and they stay with you and all that. That was fascinating. To put that into a context of a woman who's on the front lines every day working with these battered women who are in these situations, these horrible domestic situations. I just wanted to say that because that, that shed so much light for me on the whole idea of the story of Othello from Desdemona's standpoint. And as a musician doing the opera, I see that really clearly in Verdi's opera because Verdi gives her a life and a depth that she doesn't have really in Shakespeare's play. Okay, here's what I want to do. They told me I have to be done by 11.15. You <laughs> 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 can stay later if you want. <laughs> but I just want to play you a few of these wonderful themes. This is something Verdi never would have done in his younger years. But he got really interested in the Wagnerian concept of light motif. A light motif is a musical theme that recurs throughout the opera. And what he seized on, you know, uh, remember what Othello says in the play uh, before he kills himself? He says, I kissed thee ere I killed thee. And so then he kisses her one last time, her her dead body, but he kissed her before he was going to kill her. And he, it brought back memories of a kiss that he had given her earlier in the play. And then he kills himself and calls that a kiss as well. Yeah. Very seized on this. And let me play you this incredibly beautiful mm. motif, which is called Il Bacio, the kiss. This is the kiss theme in Verdi's hotel. And we see it several times. There's a beautiful duet the closest act one, and I want to give you just a taste of that, if you don't mind. Again, with apologies for uh, the technology that we're using. <laughs> and cries of victory, now the stars come out, everybody's left the stage except for this wonderful newlywed couple, and he invites her. He says, now all the noise has gone out of this dense night, and now my trembling heart is calming down in your embrace and renewing its senses. The thunder of war has stopped. And the world, after all the immense anger of the battle, comes to an immense love. And they sing this beautiful duet. She says, oh, my superb warrior, uh, you've been through so much. And he just talks about the love that he has for her and how she has taken his spirit of a warrior, his, his wild um, soldier's heart, and has tamed it and uh, sweetened it. And, and they sing the most beautiful love duet based on that theme that I just played you. And uh, I can't, can't even begin to describe to you the orchestration, how very delicate and beautiful and refined it is. And again, this is all, if you know Verdi, this is all, um, seems like such, uh, 
such a paradox because Verdi was not known for great orchestration. He was not known for refined or elegant anything. He just said, okay, let the strings play here, let the winds play here. And the, and the rhythm itself, the energy will get us through it. But now he writes with the sure hand of a master, beautiful orchestrated lines, as they seem one of the really great love duets in all of opera. And he says, kiss me. Ah, joy is flooding me so fiercely that I'm freezing in front of it. Kiss me. Un bacio. I'm going to un bacio. A kiss, a kiss, another kiss. And so he's been going a little crazy talking about all these wild things. <laughs> Incredibly beautiful moment because it's come after all the craziness of the storms. 